Okay, Dobrohoranku, good morning. Now, this is cringing for me, and I'm not a vlogger, but I do want to document today. I'm in Lviv, and I have my guitar, and I don't have any money. I'm going to play on the streets for a couple of hours, and right now it's 9.30, so definitely wanted to earn enough to buy a coffee, because I'm a big coffee fiend and water because I feel like these are two essential things. The the place my manager and I are staying in an Airbnb but it doesn't have a kitchen so I can't cook anything so I'm gonna have to buy bread or something it really depends on how it goes but it's all gonna start by playing some music so I'm gonna get started find a good place to start playing and go from there. Right now I am in Vulica Serbska it's right by the Rinok Square. In the morning, it was very, very calm, 9.30 in the morning. So when I took the video earlier today, it was not enough foot traffic. So then I went home, took a nap because I was up late last night editing a video and I came back here to play. But the police came. I was playing for like 15 minutes and I had made uh, 12, 13 grivna. Uh, and the police came and they said that I couldn't start until after 4 o'clock Which is 10 minutes from when I'm filming this right now So I guess my workday technically has not begun yet So I'll wait 10 more minutes, do everything by the law in this beautiful city But I haven't eaten anything and I don't imagine I will until I play for at least an hour So traffic's definitely picked up There's a lot more people on the street This will be fun to play in And yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'll update my progress. Day one. All right, so the workday is done. Uh, I'm with my manager, Andrew Austin. Everybody knows hey, him. Everyone. Through what I bought today, because I didn't play as much music as I should have, of course, because I'm a lazy American. So then I bought um, a burrito which is not not so smart to do and that's 25 grivna one apple ukrainske vag one grivna and i got two pieces of bread comes out to like 36 grivna and today playing street music i think i only made like 22 in 10 minutes long story about that it has to do with well me being a lazy american only playing 10 minutes today and then walking around so this is the first meal of the day, um, first and last meal. Not the best, but it also has to do primarily with me not playing much music. But it's only like, what, five o'clock? I can also go out and play more. Uh, but we'll see, again, lazy American. So that's it for now. What's up, everybody? So it's about 4.30. This is the second day, Tuesday. Got the guitar. I guess I can start playing music after four, so now I'll be able to play. Now I'll go to the usual spot, which I really like. Uh, today, I had a banana and a piece of bread. I'll recap that later. But It's 5.30, so I played for about an hour uh, with like a small break in between and I made 90, 92 grivna, so it's like roughly 3 euro, <laughs> but I think it's not bad. Me personally, only having like 6 Ukrainian songs and I wouldn't sing in Russian or any other language really. I think maybe English would work, uh, but I'm not here for that. I'm here to practice my Ukrainian and sing in Ukrainian. So I just basically play the same six songs over and over, and in an hour I can do that like three times through. And by that time I'm a little tired of it, I should go to another location and repeat the process. Maybe I'll do that, but I'm just vlogging this as an update right now. Rivit Visim, Dobrohoranku. This is day three, but uh, filming this, we had the idea to document what it's like to earn money playing street music, and how I spend that money, and basically how I survive. By the way, this is a Tarov Shevchenko monument, and I will be skating here, which is just a great way to start each day. 
but also good because I can't play street music until after four o'clock, so it's perfect. And skating is crucial for my mental health. After three days, I realized that I kind of have the hang of surviving as a street musician, and it might not be so interesting to a lot of my followers, most of you aren't even musicians, but instead just uh, beautiful souls, curious travelers, wondrous people. And so for that, I'd like to just make it not really a travel vlog, uh, but there will be some travel things, adventure more or less. So I'll kind of run you through the days. But this will be how it goes and at the end of the vlog, so if you're interested in that, stick around. Um, at the very end, I would plug in like how much I earned on average each day, what I spent my money on, these things that might be interesting for the musicians. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get started with some skating. Uh, today's Wednesday, June 9th, and what else? What else do I wanna say? That's it. All right, what's up everyone? The workday's about to start. Uh, I'm here with my manager, <laughs> Andrew Austin. Everybody knows him. Uh, and it's about 6.30 and I will play probably just one hour today. It's Wednesday. Again, like I said before, I'll do the whole money thing at the end of the video. So stick around for that. Right now we're gonna have dinner before uh, street performing. What's up everybody? I'm here with my manager, Andrew Austin. <laughs> hey everybody. Everybody knows him. Yeah, we're going, it's Sunday, and we're going to the last day of street music for the vlog. So next week I'll still play every day, but I won't include it in the vlog. The last day that I was vlogging was Wednesday, I believe. It rained Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I played one day, did a little partying, mixed with the rain. So we're back at it today and we'll see you on the other side. I don't know, man, this rain's really killing it. Okay. Hey everybody, uh, so I'm back at our Airbnb. It's raining, it's been raining the past few days. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I enjoyed making it. Uh, I'm just gonna recap takeaways from the trip and go over the little finances of it, which was the, originally the purpose of the vlog. Um, if you're uninterested in that, you can skip through this. Um, and I hope you like and subscribe the video. It, it really helps out the channel. Okay, so Monday I realized that I had spent more grivna than I had earned, which doesn't make any sense because I started with zero. Uh, ignoring that, Tuesday I had made 92 grivna and um, spent 20. Uh, Wednesday I made 200. This was an awesome day. A shout out to Dima and... Nastia and some other drunk people on the streets who were very generous and enjoyed the music. This was probably my favorite day of playing and I made roughly 200 grivna that day and only spent 50. So I started, you know, having savings which was kind of funny. Um, I didn't get to play Thursday, Friday, sorry, because of some social events and also because of the rain. Um, but Saturday I played and the weekends here are awesome. I had made about 150 grivnas, but I spent almost all of that. Uh, Sunday, which was today, I actually just had filmed more or less some footage. And so I had net zero essentially. Although we plan on going out tonight uh, to a ruin bar, which I look forward to. And um, this will obviously deviate the calculations. But as of now, closing off the vlog, um, I had made about 100, uh, 500 grivna, um, playing for about four hours, and I spent for the last seven days 300 grivna, 
uh, which comes out to about 42 hryvna a day, um, which is, you know, if you're going to Arsen and Silpo, as we've been doing, then that's plenty, but it's not enough to fully enjoy your time in the city. This next week I'm not doing this, we'll be filming a different video uh, and I'll be enjoying myself like a normal person. But my major takeaway is that it's completely possible to play street music and live off of it here in Lviv, mainly because the people uh, in the city center are so generous and awesome. There were some times where I just opened my guitar case, hadn't begun playing, and people put money in. And I have a feeling that they were just wanting me to leave, but uh, no, in, in fact, they were just being supportive. And I do this as well when I see street musicians. I don't even need to listen to what they're playing to show the appreciation that they have the courage to do it. So this last seven days was amazing doing this, living off of it. I can fully say that. I would say that it's a very exhausting um, profession if you were to do this, but also very fulfilling. We met countless people and uh, have a lot of good memories from playing on the streets of Lviv in the city center. This will probably be the only vlog that I do, at least for a while. Uh, because I'm more focused on the music and uh, music making, songwriting, and music videos as well. But this first week here, we had met so many amazing people. Uh, I thank you all for tuning in, and yeah, uh, dopo bacinja. <laughs>